Last time I asked the question, how the heck do I get tenebrous? Everything seems to need it. The answer is you just mine it, apparently. With a Drax level pickaxe. So, guess where we're going back to? Mmm. Yay. So fun. There. Next to the planty moss is where it's supposed to spawn. Oh boy. Alright, we'll need two of those. Get that. Still have that. Alright. Alrighty. Guess I'll open this as well. Super dummy can go. I've known friggin' this unnamed chest that has nothing in it. That seems like a good place to put it. I guess this. Now then, I remember, you just gotta talk to this dude. Uh, talk to this. Get the hunter potion. You get the teleporty potion. Nessence potion would have been better, but oh well. Oh yeah, it's got to pay the hundred damage fine. Skirt showed up. That's nice. Make sure to avoid the freaking toxic clouds this time. So I gotta make sure I don't stand near him. Alright, now that we're at aquatic squid depth, I'm pretty sure we're at the right. Jellyfish necklace at this point in time. I literally opened 
my map and hover over this and it says this is Tenebris. And that's Tenebris. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to find this mysterious Tenebris. It is apparently maybe up here. Okay, so it's like this weird kind of green stuff. The entire left wall is covered in it. Hello, Orphis. It's gonna kill you now. Thanks. If I squint like really hard, I can see the tenebris. But I'm mostly just gonna use the map. the Orphis. How many times we gotta teach you this lesson, old man? Probably should have bought, brought the like jellyfish uh, diving gear or something. Oh no, that nearly went very poorly. <laughs> that nearly went very poorly. Alright, so there's still like a bit of tenebris. There. Tenebris acquired. Now we just gotta go down there. Just. Apparently this is kind of like chlorophyte where it will grow on planty moss. like it when you get out of the water of the abyss.
left side of this island under here, there is Tenebris. Probably be the last I get, considering my buff is about to run out and I'm going to lose 20 gold. Let me just secure the money first. Yeah, I got 50 seconds. I also know that this has been going for around 10 minutes. seconds. Ten seconds. <laughs> Apparently I went too deep and I found one of the super duper abyss enemies. That's not good. have 12 luminal that doesn't make a lot of sense I should have a lot more than that like a lot lot more than that better not have to go on a freaking killing spree that would be annoying but I can make the absorber once and only once I get 15 luminal so you know what this dude who won't stop talking about his goddamn nose. I'm gonna want an omniscience potion this time, lady. And then the definitely not busted overpowered. coin bag that is not rare stop telling me about those oh dear once you get hit once then you need to come back here to this dude and refresh your buff otherwise you will just die Ah, the Abyss Soccer. I remember getting one of those and beating the Wall of Flesh with it, and it was still kind of terrible. Ah, laser fists. Those are new. Not today, laser beam fists. I don't like that sound effect. That sound effect makes me feel like I'm gonna freaking kill over dead anymore. I'm told that there are some like post polter gas enemies down here.
Ah, I'm guessing this would be the uh, super duper deep don't go here zone. Full of unminable ore and mega death. Well, yeah, that's what my friends called it. They played this mod more than I have, but they don't upload anything. Still, I'll trust them. This is the point of don't go past here or you'll die. I'll gladly go past it, probably die. Ah, it's jelly. I could totally kill that! If it didn't teleport on top of me and murder me. But I could totally kill that. Would you like to pay the doctor fees? The Abyss Soccer, Abyss Soccer, and oh yeah, Soccer, another Abyss Soccer. Mm. Uh, the Iron Boots can be crafted into something like now is. Uh. Yeah, later. By, by a little bit, little bit, it can be done later. The Fathom Swarmer set. Which I can make. Seems really good for going into the abyss. Mirror, that's Spectre. This I might be able to make. Might. Uh, the, uh, no. This, yes. This I was going to craft for a friend of mine. Heck, let's just go and see what we can craft with it rather than just standing around all day speculating. <coughs> Typhon's Greed, which summons water spirits while in use. It's a melee weapon. Or I can make spears. I choose spears. on the dummy. The unnamed chest in which it resides. <laughs> 700 DPS without any buffs. That's pretty decent. Can also be used in crafting. For that. Hmm. How many things need an ink bomb? Literally just the singular friggin' abyss mirror? Okay then. In the extractinator, I th yeah, I'm pretty sure we tried that before. Abyss. Gravel, tenebrous, this thingy, that thingy, this thingy. We don't need any more jellyfish necklaces, and if we did, then we could buy them. that away go to a weapons find where we can put this thing magic boomerang then there's 
well. Open this. Get billions upon billions of gold. Put all the potions away that I will definitely never use. Uh, sticky dynamite. That goes in the safe. Water walking potions we can just straight up sell at this point along with this, this, and the third one of these. Which doesn't even sell for much, jeez. Pone hammer, you can go in the safe as well. And you know what, super dummy, why not? Now then, do we just have to go and fight Planta? We can go fight the Litz. Grim Harvest Sigil. Alright. Hallowed Pumpkin Soul. Operator. dang tall for even the thorium and I can get down from there. Bigger. Everything the thorium mod touches has to be bigger. Second annoying is what it is. Here, you go way out here where no one's gonna bother you. Guarantee you. Now, Grim Harvest Sigil Woot. Now, I highly doubt I'm going to actually need any potions for this because it's a thorium boss. But, you know what? <sighs> Cause light, make it daytime. Uh, great. Break out the super overpowered weaponry, break out the route of discord, right. Nighttime.
You got some fighting, yeah, I'll give you that. Accessory, guaranteed critical strikes for 10 seconds, and afterwards you deal less damage. Cursed Cloth, Pumpkin Moon, Soul Render, eh. Let's check it. Where'd the Super Dummy go? Bug it off. I'm surprised. I thought it would be worse. Don't know how it could possibly be any worse, but... Hmm. Damage taken cannot exceed 125. In goddamn calamity terms? Where everything does it that much? Ho. Oh. No, I can make this. It's an omni sealed. So it's nerfed worm scarf. Doesn't increase your health any like the mantle of the protector. Only does slightly increases the invincibility after taking damage. And has a longer cool. This is just a worst version of all three of its combination parts. That's not just bad, that's terrible. Mm. Two minion slots. You seem to love that, Thorium. Throwing damage by a bit. But we're not playing throwing, we're playing rogue. Hey, everyone. Sorry for that minor inconvenience of a boss fight. You are my ears, but not your bloody brother. Ah, thanks for the lag there. Bloody prevented me from putting my item in. Thanks for that. Corruption, surface. Alright, how much time's passed? Almost, actually, 30 minutes. My god. Uh, alright. Well, you know how I did Wall of Flesh and I did a little bit off camera to set up an arena for him. Mm, probably gonna have to do that as well for Plantera. But there's also the case of Life Fruits and Pleur de Pleur, so. Yeah, weapons. Shut that in there. And then 
Pumpkin Moon. We can't even do Pumpkin Moon, right? That's, yeah, no, that's Post Plantera. Hold on, I want to test something. Right, it is nighttime. You can summon the Pumpkin Moon. Even though we most certainly should not be able to because you need frickin' ectoplasm in order to make it happen. We can summon it. Which means with whatever Calamity has in store for the Pumpkin Moon. Oh, hell yeah, this is going to be OP as hell. get the frickin uh spooky sticks which we are not going to get oh boy oh boy oh boy blitz what have you done with the progression and yes you're reading the name of that correctly but it's not the actual uh thing down the bottom left. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to hit the gas tank evil tree. And it despawned. Great. Hopefully it spawned in a better yep, kind of. Oh, and it's immune to the frickin' debuff. Of course it is. But it's not immune to frickin' being bombed from with mini nukes from the sky. Give me the twigs. Give me the super duper mega progression breaking goddamn twigs. I am gonna want those frickin' hearts, you know. So if you can kindly walk away from them. Not up to you. And I dropped eight platinum. How the hell did I have eight platinum? They better not have come from my frickin' piggy bank. They came from my piggy bank, didn't they? I really, really should have buffed up before doing this. Yeah, I should have. Oh well. Oh god. You thought morning the frickin' tree dude was bad, and yeah, I'm only going to call him by the tree dude. Well, this dude has more health. And drops even more ridiculously overpowered loot that you're not supposed to be able to get at this point. Sorry NPCs, but you are expendable, I am not. If 
I kill this man, then I will break the game open even more than the steampunker being available. And they said, oh yeah, this weapon isn't all that good, dude. Well, hopefully we both learned something today. Hell yeah, he even dropped a goddamn treasure bag. Poltergeist, I can kill... <sighs> These guys might, might drop ectoplasm, and if they do... Oh, oh no, 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 no. <sighs> dropped a goddamn drum. <sighs> Screw you, Thorium. Not to suit this dude for freaking 20 hours straight for you to tell me, oh yeah, he dropped a drum. horseman might spawn and I might get the frickin' headless horseman's blade. Hi headless horseman, mind dropping your sword? Maybe falling on it. How are you doing? I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill the frickin' Pump King in time before the sun rises and all this is over, so I'm focusing on everyone else. This tree. Although focusing on everyone else is going to cost me. Big bad frickin' Skellington has the most damage and will most likely kill me. moon and it's harvest. <sighs> well, I don't think I did too badly there. Scarecrow vanity. Yay. We got this thing. Which 
which literally kills you to use. Half the life cost is given to your ally with the lowest health. So every time you suit it, you heal someone else for two. Haunting Bass Drum, which gives aquatic ability, movement speed, and flight time. <sighs> Unfavorite the stupid thing. There's a measly like 300 DPS and costs a bunch of stuff, but movement speed three, flight time one. Yay. Does not deal massive damage. Does almost none. This is a healing thing, BS. And a Raven Staff. Nice. Now, I believe the reason these are materials is that the goblin can use them. Yeah, so I can exchange it for the horseman's blade, which is really good. I can exchange it for freaking. Well, I can upgrade it. I can choose to make black fairy dust, which is a thing for wings. The bat scepter, the... That which I think I already got one. The jack-o'-lantern or the candy corn rifle. Hmm. I can have either a spider or a twig follow me around. Spider egg can't be used for anything cool. Bat scepter can't be used for anything cool. The horseman's blade can be upgraded to the baleful harvester, which is kind of cool. Uh, the jack o' lantern can't be upgraded. The candy corn the rifle either. Damn. Let's go with. Well, I definitely want to exchange the spider egg. Uh, what about the spooky twig? Find the cursed sapling. This can be exchanged for the spooky hook, which I already got. Spooky twig, which is a material. Or the stake launcher. What can I do with the spooky twig? Spooky wings. Interesting. Stake launcher, necromantic scroll. Which is a material to make the papyrus scroll with the Hercules beetle and the stupid mega nanites fruit at the materia transmitter and ba da ba ba da. Overall, a bunch of jargon that doesn't seem like it's worth it. And we can now buy the pumpkin moon medallion from this guy and do it all again. Yay! Also, what can spooky wood do? Probably make the spooky armor. Yep. The spooky armor and just about everything else you can use regular wood for. Well, let's go look at it since I haven't actually made spooky armor before. Where do you make this spooky armor? At a workbench with 300 of it. Okay, maybe not. Jesus. Well, I'm going to end the episode there. 
Next time we're gonna have to go and do Plantera and the freaking uh, probably might do the Pumpkin Moon a couple more times, see if I can get any further. And I lost all my money, again, because I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, and everyone's slowly gonna have to come back. Is there even really any good compared to, you know, everything? Super dummy. Okay, note to self, you guys absolutely suck. Note to self, you guys absolutely suck. If I just go with a wide no you. There's more DPS and inflict ichor and inflict frickin' cursed flames. Yeah, no, I don't get it. Anyways, as I said earlier, that is going to be the end of the episode. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.